Hi everyone, I'm Pat Prokop. You know, they just launched the James Webb Space Telescope uh, about a week and a half ago. Christmas morning, actually, it was launched, and it's on the way to its new home in the Lagrange Point number two, which kind of orbits the Earth and the Sun at the same time. Now, it's going to take about a month to get to that position. The question I wanted to figure out is, can I see it or can you see it with your telescope? Yeah, I think we can, and I'm seeing it tonight. Welcome to Heavenly Backyard Astronomy. Well, I have the Orion Eon 130mm telescope pointing in that direction. Uh, up near Orion, just to a little bit to the uh, east of Orion uh, in that portion of the sky. So let's take a look and see what's going on. All right, one of the first things I'm doing is going into this uh, website called uh, Unistellar. And there's the address right there, unistelloroptics.com uh, and Infrares. Uh, and um, this is the uh, coordinates uh, that I got for the James Webb Space Telescope. And the way you do that is you go into their website and uh, you go into select a target. In this case, uh, I had a couple of the International Space Station um, or the James Webb Space Telescope. I, I, I selected that. Of course, my location, I'm here in Savannah, Georgia, and I wanted the time, and I, I put in that time there, and then I generate it, and it takes a little bit of timing there, and there it is. The results are right below me here, and uh, there it was. Uh, it was at uh, right ascension, 6 hours, 23 minutes, and 42 seconds, and the declination just about uh, zero, zero. Uh, 46 minutes and 26 seconds. And uh, I plug that into a Nina, and I can look at that over here. Uh, and uh, I plug that into the, uh, well, actually in the framing, uh, six hours, 23 minutes, 42 seconds, zero degrees on the declination, 46 minutes and 28 seconds. And then I loaded the image and there it is right there. Uh, of course you can't see it there. That's just where it is up in the sky. And then I added that to the sequencer, and there's the coordinates right there for the James Webb Space Telescope. And uh, this is my horizon here, and as you can see, uh, it's just above the tree line at this time, at this uh, moment. And uh, that's the big holly tree. It's going to be passing through that at around, uh, let's see, 1030, 6 to uh, a little around, coming out of it at... 1118 and then I have several hours of clear sailing as it goes high in the south and then we'll do a meridian flip right here at uh, well, let's see the time of that 23 that's a that's let's say midnight and then from there until I reach into these other trees to my southwest that'll be at uh, 312 3 306 312 in the morning so I got I have a good four hour window right here and I got about a two hour window here so I should get five hours of data for tonight. So we're coming up to uh, uh, less than 30 seconds for the first picture to come in on the sequence. The James Webb Space Telescope is this it right here? Let's see if it moves. Coming up. It did. That was it. That's it. The James Webb Space Telescope. Uh, you can see it moving uh, in that one five minute frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bunch of these frames together and see if I can get it moving across uh, this field of view. And it's a rather large field of view. I'm, I'm zoomed in. Um, uh, there it is right there. It's between, oh, we got this double star here and this three old stars here. So let's zoom out a little bit. And you know, there it is. I do have it kind of, it is centered. It's pretty good. So this, this is going to be exciting. We're going to keep an eye on this. All right. So I can actually see the James Webb Space Telescope from here in Savannah with my five inch telescope. <laughs> well, there you have it. You can see the James Webb Space Telescope in your own backyard with your own telescope. I can see it right here from Savannah, Georgia. This is a short video. I'm going to have a longer video showing more detail 
uh, information and hopefully the animation of that as well. So again, thanks for watching and unless you need rain, clear skies everyone.